Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now Welcome to the podcast where we explore the teachings of Eckhart Tolle's book, The Power of Now. This book is a modern-day spiritual classic and has touched the lives of millions of readers worldwide. In this podcast, we will go through each chapter of the book, providing a detailed description of what the chapter covers and how it can help you in your spiritual journey towards living in the present moment. Chapter 1. You are not your mind in this chapter. Tall explains that the mind is a tool that we use, but we are not our minds. He suggests that our constant thinking, analyzing, and worrying keeps us from being fully present in the moment. Tall describes how we can break free from the mind's grip by focusing on the present moment and observing our thoughts without getting caught up in them. Chapter 2. Consciousness. The way out of pain this chapter explores how our identification with the mind and our past or future experiences can cause us emotional pain. Tall explains that the key to finding inner peace is to disidentify from our thoughts and to connect with our true nature, which is consciousness. He suggests that we can do this by being fully present and aware of our surroundings, without judgment or analysis. Chapter 3. Moving deeply into the now in this chapter, Tall provides practical guidance on how to live in the present moment. He encourages readers to pay attention to their breathing, the sensations in their body, and the world around them. Tall emphasizes the importance of being fully present in everyday activities, such as eating, walking, and washing dishes. Chapter 4. Mind Strategies for Avoiding the Now Tall discusses the different ways in which the mind tries to distract us from the present moment. He explains how we often become lost in our thoughts, emotions, and stories and how these mental distractions can prevent us from experiencing true peace and happiness. Tall offers insights on how to recognize these strategies and how to disengage from them. Chapter 5. The State of Presence In this chapter, Tall introduces the concept of presence, which he describes as the state of being fully engaged in the present moment. He explains that when we are present, we are more receptive to life and can experience joy, peace, and love. Tall also discusses the importance of self-awareness and how we can cultivate this state of presence through meditation and other spiritual practices. Chapter 6. The Inner Body Tall suggests that by connecting with the inner body, we can access a deeper level of consciousness and experience inner peace. He explains that the inner body is the gateway to the present moment and that it is through this connection that we can access our true nature. Tall provides exercises to help readers connect with their inner body and develop this awareness. Chapter 7. Portals into the unmanifested in this chapter, Tall discusses the different ways in which we can access the unmanifested, which is the realm of pure consciousness beyond thought and form. He explains that meditation, nature, and creative endeavors are all ways in which we can access this realm and experience inner peace and joy. Chapter 8. Enlightened Relationships Tall explains how being present in our relationships can transform them into enlightened relationships. He suggests that by being fully present and accepting of others, we can transcend our egoic selves and experience deeper connections with others. Tall also discusses the importance of accepting others as they are, without judgment or expectation. Chapter 9. Beyond happiness and unhappiness there is peace Tall explores the difference between happiness and inner peace. He suggests that happiness is often a temporary state that depends on external circumstances, while inner peace is a deeper, more enduring state that comes from connecting with our true nature. Tall explains that we can access this inner peace by being fully present in the moment and accepting things as they are, without resistance or judgment. He also suggests that we can find peace by embracing our challenges and using them as opportunities for growth. Chapter 10. The Meaning of Surrender In this chapter, Tall discusses the concept of surrender and how it can help us find inner peace. He suggests that surrender is not about giving up or becoming passive, but rather about letting go of our resistance and accepting the present moment. Tall provides insights on how we can surrender to life and access a deeper level of consciousness. Chapter 11. The Power of Now Tall explains that the power of now lies in our ability to be fully present in the moment. He suggests that when we are present, we can access a deeper level of consciousness and experience inner peace and joy. Tall also discusses the importance of accepting the present moment and letting go of our attachment to the past or future. Chapter 12. The Meaning of Life In the final chapter, Tall explores the meaning of life and suggests that it is not something that can be found externally, but rather something that we create from within. He explains that the purpose of life is to awaken to our true nature and to live in a state of presence and inner peace. Tall provides guidance on how we can find meaning in our lives by being fully present and embracing our challenges as opportunities for growth. In conclusion, 
The Power of Now, by Eckhart Tolle is a powerful guide to finding inner peace and living in the present moment. Through practical exercises, insights, and spiritual teachings, Tolle shows us how to break free from the grip of the mind and access a deeper level of consciousness. By embracing the present moment and connecting with our true nature, we can experience a profound sense of peace, joy, and fulfillment in our lives.